You have uh, editorial boards and columnists and even some Democratic activists saying Biden should resign the presidency now and make way for President Kamala Harris. I think uh, the vice president would be a phenomenal president. I think she has the experience, the judgment, the leadership ability. She is there and she is capable. The campaign is underway to convince Americans that Kamala Harris has the experience and qualifications to be president. Even though we all know Biden picked her as his running mate largely because she looked like the right kind of candidate. A woman of black and Asian heritage, relatively young, the perfect foil to his old white maleness. What she was missing in substance, she made up for with a willingness to say things that young progressives like to hear. Black lives have not been taken seriously as being fully human. We have for generations now been defunding public schools, but yet militarizing police departments. That's right. She went on to bungle interviews, flip-flop repeatedly, and fail to own any issue or commit to anything. Talking about the significance of the passage of time, right? The significance of the passage of time. So when you think about it, there is great significance to the passage of time. Biden had put Harris in charge of leading the administration's diplomatic efforts to address the root causes of migration from El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras, as the White House put it. It was a stopping a seas from rising kind of job, says Cato Institute immigration analyst David J. Beer, especially since Harris had no authority to actually change U.S. immigration policy. Still, a vice president could at least play a robust rhetorical role here, shifting the conversation around the issue or rallying Democrats behind an inspiring message. But rather than outline a coherent policy vision, Harris made a series of awkward decisions and comments that angered many Democrats and gave fodder to Republicans. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I, I mean, I don't, I don't. Harris, whose mom was born in India and whose dad is from Jamaica, did eventually visit Guatemala, but then issued a disappointing statement for anyone hoping for a departure from Trump's immigration policies. I want to be clear to folks in this region who are thinking about making that dangerous trek to the United States-Mexico border. Do not come. Do not come. If Harris runs for president, she can't point to her record as a prosecutor because it's mostly become an embarrassment. As San Francisco district attorney, she increased prosecutions and convictions for misdemeanor quality of life crimes and pushed for giving fewer people access to the city's drug court, which offers alternatives to incarceration. She opposed the prostitution decriminalization measure, helped federal officials raid immigrant businesses, head misconduct by a drug lab technician, and helped launch an anti-truancy initiative that would bring criminal charges against parents if their kids miss too much school. As California Attorney General, she fought against the court ruling that the state's death penalty was unconstitutional, fought to keep people in overcrowded prisons after a court ordered them released, defended the state's corrections department's denial of surgery for transgender inmates, and refused to back a measure requiring more scrutiny on police use of force cases. She also fought to shut down the sex worker-friendly ad platform Backpage while publicly ignoring sexual misconduct involving Oakland police and an underage girl. 1,974 people were sent to state prisons for possession of marijuana or hashish while Harris was California's top cop. Harris was supposed to be an inspiring figure, like Barack Obama, a relatable everywoman like Michelle Obama, or a folksy nerd like Biden as VP. Instead, she's shown all the charm and charisma of Hillary Clinton. This is the logical endpoint of Democrats' over-reliance on identity politics, an immensely unpopular candidate failing upwards to become the party's nominee. In some ways, Harris is the perfect avatar of the modern Democratic Party. She's skilled at posturing and pandering, but has no political core. The ideal presidential candidate in 2024.